All right, happening today on the big screen. Listen up, filmmakers and film buffs. With all the movies happening here in New Mexico and around the state, there's a chance that you or someone you know has had some interest in joining the film industry. Guess what? Now is the perfect time to do so. Joining us now with the New Mexico Film Office is director Nick Maniatis, along with contract locations coordinator Don Gray. Gentlemen, thanks for taking part of your day. Because things are really busy right now in the we, film industry. We are very busy right yeah, now. So yeah, so tell us about this conference coming up. Yeah, so we have our statewide film and media conference. It's this Friday and Saturday, the 25th and 6th, at the Crown Plaza Hotel, which is in Albuquerque. And we've got a lot to offer anyone that has either wanted to be get in the film industry or is curious about the film industry, uh, but particularly businesses that can, that thought maybe I can't do business with the film industry. We think you can, and if you come, we're going to have a, a special event, I think a special panel that anyone can come for free if you're a business on really? Friday. What time three, is it? Three to four on Friday. Three to four. Three to four on Friday. So at, at this conference, uh, specifically with small businesses, uh, what kind of businesses do you think would be open to this? Because you're right, there are so many different ancillary uh, roles that they can fill for the film industry. Right. So what kind of, what kind of businesses business owners are we looking to attend? You know, the funny, can I just say, the funny, yeah. thing, the funny thing about uh, the film industry is just when you think you know what they need, <laughs> they need something you haven't thought of. Right. So we have the usual list of things like hotels and car rental companies and those sorts of things. But then there's the whole wacky list of things like dog walkers, mm -hmm. late night medical supplies, gift basket companies. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole array, a whole array of businesses that it's are interested. Anything you would need, I mean, they have dry cleaners, they, have, they you know, they need food, they need, there's anything you would need in a, as Don says, a small town or village, they, they need that. Because that's something that, that some people, they, they may not think about, that we take for granted living here in Albuquerque. Uh, a lot of times these folks are coming in from Los Angeles, New York, and they are set up shop. You know, some of these movies are here for months on yeah. end. The TV shows are here for months on end. They do become temporary residents of Albuquerque, yeah. and so their production they need that support as well. They need well. chiropractors. They yeah. need, you know, the, anything you especially would think. Especially if you're on a Western. Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. especially if you were on a Western, you sure. need those. So let's talk about, because a lot of people, of course, they're wanting to get in front of those cameras. So for the, the aspiring actors out there, what can they expect this weekend? Well, we have a lot for actors this weekend. We have a lot of, of, of uh, panels on starting, you know, how to break in. If you're in, how to keep going, mm -hmm. how to make it to the next step. I don't know, you, you may know more than that. And also some, some uh, panel for extras as well. You know, mm -hmm. starting out as an extra is a really good way to get your foot in the door, get a feel for what it's like to be on set. It's a different world. Mm -hmm. And some people love it and some people it's not for them. Mm -hmm. So starting as an extra is a really good place to, to get, get a, just get a feel for what it's like. Mm -hmm. And of course, a lot of people here in New Mexico have made their careers uh, below the line, so to speak, working right. behind the scenes, working in locations, working in in props, whatever it is. So there will be resources for that as well for people that are wanting to do behind the scenes work. Absolutely, and that's where most of the work is, mm -hmm. to be honest yep. with you. Uh, uh, but yeah, we'll have we'll have panels on on set etiquette and things mm -hmm. like that. So things. People that are just starting out that want to learn more about it, uh, and most of the jobs, as you say, are below the line, are the mm -hmm. crew, and that's. And you'd be amazed too how many people actually have already transferable skills. Mm -hmm. They might think that they're sort of it's a, a strange world, and I don't know how to do that. But you'd be amazed that most of the people who work behind the scenes are doing things that probably people are doing in jobs right. in everyday life, mm -hmm. and you can transfer your skills over to the film industry yeah. as well. One of my good buddies, he was a carpenter, and he worked mm -hmm. for a long time, you know, just various things, doing home design, rebuilding things, transitioned into working in film, and he is non-stop. Yeah, he is great. working so much. So again, hit us with the details on this conference this weekend. So it's this Friday and Saturday, the 25th and 26th, 26th at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Um, you can go to nmfilm.com to look for tickets. It'll show you how to get there. And, uh, and then again, for businesses that want to get involved, at, uh, give me the time again. Three to four on Friday. Three, Three to, to four, four on Friday. Friday. There's a special session just for businesses to talk about, and that's free if they want to come to learn how they can uh, service our industry. There you go. Yeah, and like you said, you might not think that your business can serve it, but guaranteed there's probably a niche that you can fill. So if you want more information on how you can break into the, bur the burgeoning film industry, well, burgeoning, it's been going for years now, yeah. head over to foxnewmexico.com.